Hello all, this video is on interfacing HC05 Bluetooth module with 8051. This is third part of uh, 8051 UART video series. Here we use the Bluetooth module HC05. This module has got uh, six pins. There are other types HC06, HM10 and other types. Here we are using HC05. This has got RX, TX, VCC and ground pins. This can be interfaced with the P3.0, P3.1 pins of H051. This board has got a green uh, daughter board on a base board. This base board has got a 3.3 volt regulator. As such, this uh, HC05 Bluetooth module is 3.3 volt device. But on board there is 5 volt uh, regulator, so you can safely give 5 volt supply. But the RXTX levels are at 3.3 volt. To know the AT commands, we require a CP2102 USB to TTL device like this. This portion of video is just to understand the AT commands. If you do not have this USB TTL, you can skip on this portion. Now connect this USB to TTL like this, RX to TX, TX to RX, ground to ground and VCC to 5V. No separate power source is required. Power is taken from USB to TTL. Generally at RX pin of uh, HZ05 we require a level shifter like this 1K series and 2K2 ground for, but for uh, short uh, timing we are not using this level shifter here. Now connect it to USB and uh, open your uh, settings of Bluetooth settings of your mobile. Search for Bluetooth devices you can see the name HZ05 you can touch on that and pair it with a uh, password the default password is 1234 for hc05 you can pair it using the password and we require an uh, application for that uh, mobile application uh, bluetooth serial communication to enter into at mode you just pull out the power connector that is a uh, power vcc press and hold the button one small button is there press and hold it and then provide the power and release the button now the module has entered the AT mode that is the command mode the status LED will blink slower that is uh, twice per 5 seconds when it enters AT mode now open the device manager and note on the COM port allotted to USB to TTL we'll be using cool term software which is a terminal software to enter the AT commands this is a very nice software you have to download and install it it has a line mode capability now click on options and under serial port select the com port allotted to usb to ttl and then select the baud rate as 38400 the hc05 has got two baud rates that is the command mode baud rate is 38400 and data mode baud rate is different that can be set by the user by default it is 9600 and from terminal select the line mode there are two modes raw mode and line mode line mode is the best for uh, testing at commands bluetooth hc05 will accept in uh, it's line mode only click ok and then click connect at the bottom line now you can enter the AT commands type in AT the Bluetooth module will respond with ok to know the name type in AT plus name and then a question mark query is always with a question mark the module will return the default name which is HC05 and to know the password AT plus PSWD question mark this will return the default password which is 1234 to change the name and password we use the equal to operator that is AT plus name equal to you can change the name AT plus PSWD equal to uh, four digits you can change the password next is the role AT plus role question mark will return the default role which is slave uh, by default it is slave and it can uh, in it cannot initiate connection it can accept connection master means it can initiate connection next is AT plus ADDR question mark which returns the MAC address this is used for binding with any other HC05 module and next is the AT plus UART question mark which returns the data mode baud rate this is data board baud rate this is by default 9600 so uh, we connected using 38400 baud rate which is command mode baud rate so do not get confused there are two baud rates and uh, this uh, UART baud rate is user defined and it can be changed 9600 comma 0 comma 0 means first comma 0 is uh, uh, stop bit one bit and the second uh, 0 is no parity you can change it by using the AT plus UART equal to command 
we'll leave it to 9600 next command is at plus orgl which is for factory reset it will go to factory reset condition now let us uh, connect the avr dude that is a usb asb to the project board uh, take care to connect ground with ground and uh, vcc to vcc the wire should not be reversed we will be using a two channel relay board in this uh, demo for connecting uh, home automation loads this each channel has got a optocoupler drive so when a low is applied at the input the relay will be on and when a high is applied the relay will be off and uh, there is also a jumper yellow jumper seen do not remove this jumper this is uh, this jumper is removed only while using with raspberry pi or uh, node mcu when the microcontroller is 3.3 volt now leave the jumper as it is at the top you can see the terminals where you can connect ac or dc load there are uh, three connections for each uh, relay nc no and common now let us connect uh, with the project board vcc to 5 volt and ground to ground take care to connect with 5 volt and not to 12 and in1 to p2.0 and in2 to p2.1 that is a port 2 uh, 0 and port 2 1 is connected to in1 and in2 and hc05 connections let us connect the vcc to 5 volt as there is 3.3 volt onboard regulator we can safely connect to 5 volt and then ground to ground and TX of uh, uh, HC05 is connected to RX that is P3.0 3.0 is uh, RX and uh, RX of HC05 is connected to P3.1 TX of H051 that is a reverse connection status LED on HC05 blinks rapidly now that is 5 uh, times per second that means it is looking for a pair now let us see how to write the C code open scale microvision create a folder for the project click on new project new project provide a name for the project and then select the ICS 889S52 click on right click on target and options under options uh, output click for uh, creating hex file and uh, right click on source group add new item select C file provide a name for the C file and uh, click add now in the end editor window you can feed in the c code include reg52.h and after that the void main loop inside which there is a never ending loop while one and inside the void main uh, we call the initial function uart underscore init this is to initiate the initialize the serial port of uh, 8051 you can watch our previous part one and part two videos on this the same code we are modifying for this uh, project at the top we have to do the function declaration void uart underscore init and then we need a delay function that also we will do the function declaration void delay unsigned int i time and uh, the code for the delay is the same as that we used in the previous video that is two for loops nested for loops to create one millisecond delay and void uart underscore init this is for initializing the serial port uh, first we make the scon as 0x50 this is to make the serial communication mode as 1 that is the uart 8 bit mode is selected next is the t mode is allotted 0x20 which makes the timer 1 in mode 2 that is a 8 bit auto reload mode so now we have to load the th1 register with 0xfd to make the baud rate as 9600 and tr1 equal to 1 to make the timer 1 on and in the function declaration side uh, we need two more functions send underscore str to send a string and then send underscore char the send underscore string takes a parameter unsigned char and we use a pointer variable uh, asterisk str now let us write the code for this two new functions send underscore str function and then the send underscore char function send underscore char is to send a single byte and it is assigned to sbuff register the single byte and then we wait till uh, the transmit interrupt flag is made one and then after transmission we make it back to zero 
and in void uh, send underscore string we use the again the send underscore char function to send the uh, byte one by one we use we increment the uh, str plus plus that is a pointer variable and then call the send underscore char and we use the s bit to declare the uh, port pins that is relay 1 is connected to p 2.0 and relay 2 is connected to p 2.1 and we initially make the pins as high <coughs> and two more variables we require uh, that we declare it before the wide main and we make the port pin uh, port 2 all pins as high so initially we will make this 0xff so that initially everything is high as we are using a low enable relay initially we make it high and when low is given the relay will be on and inside the never ending loop we use while not ri which means we stay there till the receive buffer is full that is the receive interrupt is enabled means the receive buffer is full till uh, that time we wait there and then we assign the s buff value to the incoming underscore uh, com variable we then transfer it to temp variable and then we reset the receive interrupt flag that is ri equal to zero so that it can receive the net next character so the incoming uh, command is assigned to temp variable and we check uh, using the if uh, class if temp has a value of uh, capital a notice the usage of uh, single quote for a single byte and we use uh, double equal to uh, and which is not assignment operator if temp has a value of uh, capital a then we make the relay one on to make the relay one on we use relay one equal to zero as we are using low enabled uh, relay board we pass on zero to make the relay on and then we send back the feedback that is send underscore str relay one is on so the relay one is made on and the feedback string is sent back and uh, for the next command else if we use else if the uh, temp variable has a value of uh, b capital b we have to make the relay one as off for this we pause on relay one equal to one so if you give a high to that uh, variable the relay one will be made off and we send back the string that is the feedback as relay one is off and then a small delay is required same way for the third command uh, c capital c if you send a c the relay two should be on so make relay two equal to zero to make the relay two on and send back uh, the string feedback uh, feedback string relay two is on so if you send a capital d then the relay 2 should be off for this you make uh, uh, relay 2 equal to 1 and then send the feedback string relay 2 is off so this is how we use the if class within the never ending loop uh, to get the byte and uh, operate uh, relays accordingly and finally we make the temp as uh, 0 to get the next command save this file and then click on build make sure that there are no errors and no warnings and we open the pro ISP software select file and then load flash and uh, browse to the location of uh, project and then object and select the dot hex file and click on auto to load the hex file now the hex file has been loaded to 89s52 now from your android mobile go to settings and then click on bluetooth uh, and device touch on pair new device you can see the name hc05 touch on that provide the password 1234 as you have not changed the password the default one is 1234 and touch on to pair now the device uh, has been paired to uh, the hc05 now we need one more application which is bluetooth serial uh, uh, terminal application you can download it from the uh, google play store and open the bluetooth serial terminal and touch on connect uh, select the hc05 it will show automatically hc05 which is previously paired 
now the hc05 has been connected to the bluetooth serial terminal now you can notice the status led it blinks twice per 5 second that is that means it has been paired now notice the uh, relay module while sending uh, capital a we are sending capital a you notice that relay 1 is on and you get a feedback that relay 1 is on now send the second uh, command b relay 1 is off the third one c now relay 2 is on and d you send d capital d relay 2 is off so this is how we uh, control the relays by sending uh, commands and do the home automation project thank you for watching